Thank you for joining me to learn about how Amazon DevOps grew a machine learning powered service from AWS, helping developers to improve the operational performance and availability of serverless applications. My name is Shivan Singh, and I'm a principal solution architect here at AWS and a DevOps Guru ambassador. In this episode, I'm going to show you how Amazon DevOps Guru for serverless, a new ML powered capability can automatically detect anomalous behavior at the AWS Lambda function level, Amazon DynamoDB table, and provide ML powered recommendations to remediate any issues that were detected. But let's first understand what is Amazon DevOps Guru. DevOps Guru is a fully managed service that uses machine learning informed by years of experience from Amazon.com and AWS Operational Excellence. These models can identify anomalous behavior such as increased latency, error rates, and resource constraints and surface critical issues that could cause potential outages or service disruptions. It doesn't require you to have any machine learning expertise to use it. Once you sign up for the service, it automatically starts monitoring the data and metrics to understand your application's behavior. DevOps Guru reduces noise and help focus on highest severity issues with detailed insights to provide a quicker MTTR. The reactive insights of this capability help you troubleshoot ongoing issues affecting serverless applications efficiently with actionable recommendations that help you identify and fix the root cost in the shortest time possible. DevOps Group for Serverless also provides proactive insights that help you identify a wider range of operational anomalies long before your serverless application performance is affected. It also gives you recommendations on how to resolve the root cause of the issues. It enables developers to proactively detect application issues before an event that affects the customer occurs. For example, if provision concurrency is set too low for a Lambda function and traffic for this application is growing, DevOps Group will detect the growing traffic and the application latency degradation and generate a proactive insight showing the issue. When an issue is detected, DevOps Guru for serverless displays the finding in the DevOps Guru console and sends notification using Amazon EventBridge or Amazon Simple Notification Service. This allows developers to automatically manage and take real-time action on the discovered issues. DevOps Guru for serverless provides proactive insights for Lambda and Amazon DynamoDB. Some of the operational issues and the proactive insights that are available today are Lambda concurrent executions, reaching account limit, Lambda provision concurrency function limit breached, account read write capacity for DynamoDB consumption reaching account limit, and DynamoDB table read write consumed capacity reaching table limit. Now let's look at a typical serverless application architecture. You have API Gateway to serve both static and dynamic content. You have Lambda functions talking with other functions or databases such as DynamoDB. All this is generating a lot of metrics, logs, and trace data that is being sent to dashboards or monitored via alarm by your IT ops teams. Spikes in workloads fluctuations are causing you to keep changing these thresholds for alarms or keep a constant eye for what's real and significant versus what's not. Take this example of serverless architecture with API Gateway, Lambda, and DynamoDB. Your customers are experiencing a problem with this app. You have configured your thresholds and alarms well. You see all three components failing. DynamoDB throttling, Lambda function failing, and API Gateway slammed with 500 errors. To resolve this issue, you would need to understand the root cause of the issue and what the side effects are. In this case, even though the Lambda function and the API Gateway endpoint are both failing, they are just side effects of the root cause, which is 
reduced capacity of DynamoDB table. After resolving the incident, the operator would have to spend more time on a postmortem to identify the read capacity of the DynamoDB table being decreased because of a bug in a previous application release. This is the power of adding Amazon DevOps Guru by reducing this ops burden using machine learning based anomaly detectors. It monitors your application by ingesting operational data coming from CloudWatch and CloudTrail. In this example, DevOps Guru checks the relevant events on CloudTrail and compares them with the operational metrics from CloudWatch. Based on this data, when it detects the anomaly, it creates an insight which presents the relevant metrics so the operator can quickly find and fix the root cause of the incident. In this example architecture, where all three resources are showing up as failing, DevOps Guru cuts through the noise by identifying that someone has changed the DynamoDB table read capacity just before the anomaly has detected and provides a recommendation of rolling back this change. Let's take a look on how does the service work. We start by having a collection of an application either tagged for CloudFormation stacks or enabling the service across the region or organization. As we talked about, we are consuming from CloudWatch, CloudTrail, X-Ray, and RDS Performance Insights. These are the data stores for the service, the input signal for the machine learning models. Amazon DevOps Guru then takes the data stores to analyze and look for anomalies behavior based on our machine learning models from Amazon.com and AWS. Prior, we talked about enabling the service and using a cloud formation as a method to collect a specify applications. It is also used from an event history standpoint. The service tracks any stack deployments to pull in this data and correlates a deployment with issue with a possible caused by a deployment. Amazon DevOps Guru then takes all this input and produces an insight. An insight is made up of three core items, metrics, enrichment data, which is not static and evolves as the issue is happening, and AWS's recommendations. DevOps Guru automatically correlates the issue across various services and resources. The service leverages SNS for notifications and you can integrate with Ops Center and also third parties such as PagerDuty and Ops Genie. With SNS, you don't need to monitor the dashboard. We bring the insights to you. With that, let's go to the demo and see the DevOps Guru for serverless in action. For demo, I will deploy a serverless application as shown in this architecture diagram using CloudFormation template. Amazon DevOps Guru automatically ingests and analyzes metrics for all resources it has been enabled for. This allows Amazon DevOps Guru to establish a baseline or normal operating patterns, which enable the pre-training machine learning models to detect deviations. To get started, navigate to the DevOps Guru console. And enable the service for your Lambda based applications, other supported resources or your entire account. In this demo, I'm using Cloud9 as my development environment. I have a CloudFormation template which I have used to deploy the serverless application as shown in the previous architecture diagram in my AWS account. To simulate an issue, I will go ahead and reduce the cap read capacity units for my DynamoDB table to one. Now I will use the terminal and update the CloudFormation stack using AWS CLI. Next, let's wait for stack update to be completed, which will take few minutes.
Okay, the stack update is completed successfully now, which means we have successfully reduced the read capacity units of our DynamoDB table to one. Now, to generate the insights, we need to intentionally break the application and inject failures. To do that, I will deliver a very high amount of HTTP traffic targeted at the API gateway. I have pre-created a Python script, which when called repeatedly, loops an HTTP request to the API, invoking the Lambda function and DynamoDB table to read the data. I will run the Python script and create four instances of it to create a surge in traffic to the API endpoint. This is required to generate the appropriate traffic to generate anomalous metric in this application stack. It takes at least 10 to 15 minutes to see an operational insights generated in DevOps Guru. While we keep sending HTTP requests to our API endpoint, DevOps Guru monitors for anomalies, log insights that provide details about the metrics indicating an anomaly and prints actionable recommendations to mitigate the anomaly. Under normal conditions, DevOps Guru dashboard will show the ongoing insights counter to be zero. It monitors a high number of metrics behind the scenes and offloads the operator from manually monitoring any counters or graphs. It raises an alert in the form of an insight only when anomaly occurs. Let's select the ongoing insight to see more details. The insight page opens and it displays information relevant to the insight, metrics, events, and recommended actions for the issue. Let's examine this page in more detail. At the top of the page is the insight overview with a description of what the insight is about and the severity of the issue. You also learn if the issue is ongoing and when it started. If the issue is not happening anymore, you can learn the end date for that insight. Next is the aggregated metric section, where it shows metrics for all the resources that it detected anomalies in DynamoDB, Lambda, and API Gateway. Note that depending upon your traffic pattern, Lambda settings, baseline traffic, the list of metrics may vary. In this case, the timeline shows that an anomaly for DynamoDB started first and was followed by API Gateway and Lambda. This helps us understand the cause and symptoms and prioritize the right anomaly investigation. Relevant events are the next information box available on the page. These are AWS CloudTrail events that DevOps Guru uses combined with CloudWatch metrics and operational data to identify anomalous behavior that created the insight. And finally on the page is the recommendation information box where DevOps Guru will output all the generated recommendations to help you address the issue. You can use the recommendations to learn the immediate steps you can take to remediate the issue. For one of the insights, DevOps Guru recommends you tune the provision concurrency for your Lambda function. It tells you to which value to set it based on the past utilization of your function. You can also find the reasoning on why DevOps Guru recommends this insight. So that's DevOps Guru for serverless and how you can use to automatically detect anomalous behavior of your serverless application environment and use ML-powered recommendations to remediate any issues that were detected. I hope this episode gave you a good sense about how DevOps Guru applies artificial intelligence and machine learning into your development and operations workflows 
to improve the operation performance and availability of serverless applications. Don't forget to watch the other DevOps Crew episodes, which also deep dives into other use cases. Thanks for watching.